Hi guys, Natalie here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this pair of Daria and Jane slip-on shoes. It was much easier to do than you might think, and you can use the method I used in this video and choose whatever animated characters you like to paint your own shoes. But before I get into the project, if you're new here and you like fun DIYs like this, hit the subscribe button and then click the bell so you'll be notified when I post my next DIY video. Now, let's get started. For this project, I used this 24-piece acrylic paint set by Colore, which has all the colors I need for a painting project and allows me to mix paints as necessary for various shades as well. It's suitable for surfaces such as paper, stretch canvas, wood, plaster, tin, ceramic, removable wallpaper in case you're doing a mural, terracotta, most fabrics, and a variety of other surfaces. I also used some paint brushes, a cup of water for cleaning the brushes in between paint colors, and some pencils, which will come in handy for the most important, yet easiest part of the image. I bought the paint, pencils, and paint brushes on Amazon, and I'll link to all of those in the description box. So I started off with some plain white canvas slip-ons that I purchased from Payless about two years ago. Any pair of canvas shoes with a generally flat surface will do. You might be able to paint on other shoe materials depending on what paint you use, but I only used canvas shoes for this project. I did initially try to draw the images I'd chosen. Two of my favorite animated characters, Daria Morgendorfer and Jane Lane. However, after drawing Daria's glasses, I scrapped it entirely and decided to use the same method I used on the mugs and bowls in my last video, which I pulled from yet another video on YouTube. I will link to both of those videos in the description box. Basically, this girl printed out a flipped animated image, then traced over the outlines of the image heavily in pencil, then placed it on her item, a mug, then scribbled back over it generously in order to transfer the pencil graphite to the mug, leaving an image that would be easy to paint over. This worked wonderfully for my shoes as well, although I had to use the back end of one of the pencils to simply rub over the images with enough pressure to transfer the graphite onto the shoes. Then, I very carefully painted the outline of the images with black acrylic paint, as that is how the characters are drawn by the series. Once I got Daria and Jane's outlines down, the rest of the painting was pretty much easy. The hardest thing to try and paint onto the shoes was Jane's earrings. I did the best I could with my tiniest paintbrush, but the earrings still got lost in Jane's image on the shoes. It's fine though because when I wear the shoes, no one will be looking that closely at her earring detail. I did need to do a second layer of paint as it seems like the paint job from the first layer was patchy. I only mixed paint colors for Daria's hair and her green jacket. After the second layer of paint, this is how the shoes turned out. I would suggest spraying your shoes with something to seal your paint job and protect it from getting wet or dirty. I haven't sprayed mine with anything yet, so I won't be wearing them regularly until I find something. I am considering painting another pair of shoes with either Jody, the goth girl whose name I forget, and Zarya, an alternate character not included in the series who looks like Daria but is black and has an afro. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and then check out some of my other DIY projects featured here. Thanks so much for watching!